the the message that forests are more than trees uh, is certainly heard by some people, but I still get the feeling that those people in closed rooms um, working out the details of, of red and um, how, how we're going to reduce emissions from deforestation and degradation are still thinking that it's, it's the, the trees, the timber, the, the, um, the lignin is where the carbon is. And of course it, it is, but uh, I still hope that uh, I mean, in the, in the workshop um, we heard the phrase that uh, conservation must be integral to red. In other words, it's not an optional extra that you might add on if it's convenient, it's integral. And maybe that message is getting through a little bit, but I still I don't see much sign. I, I, I see a lot of governments struggling to conserve their wildlife, and I don't see much sign of the very large sums of money being set aside for climate purposes being directed at conservation. It's like red money um, is for reducing emissions from deforestation and then there's a teeny, teeny little stream of money that goes into conservation of wildlife as if that isn't part of the same thing. So it's bringing those two streams together so that conservation is adequately funded and red is successful in the long term because if you want to have uh, uh, permanence in your forest carbon store, you need the animals as well as the plants. So after, I mean, it's, it's 35 years since I got involved with great apes, and during that time, uh, the number of apes on our planet has declined as the number of humans has risen. And whilst I'm an optimist by nature, and I feel that we have to turn that around, I know that the only populations of great apes that are known to be increasing are the two tiny populations of mountain gorillas that got down to fewer than 300 each and now are beginning to pick up. So we maybe have uh, 800 mountain gorillas in the world. That's a very small number. Um, other gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, gibbons are all declining. So whilst we've been hearing people blowing the whistle saying this is a crisis, we need more effort, clearly the response to that crisis has not been adequate, except in one or two small places where enough money, effort, resources, people, dedicated, courageous conservationists have turned things around. And the the, the hope is that the fear of dangerous climate change, the realization that forests are not just an ornamental part of our planet, they're integral to the function of the biosphere and our future survival, well perhaps that would be enough motivation so that enough resources are put in to protect the whole forest ecosystems upon which we all depend. And then we might start to see ape populations recovering and, and that would be better for the apes and, and better for us in the long term.